Good morning, my darlings. My name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. I love to do readings for love. Obviously love of another, but most importantly love for oneself because you can't pour from an empty cup, hence my cup of tea tarot. Um, today I'm going to be doing a six of cups, soulmate reading for you. Um, and that's with the belief that whoever is meant to hear this will do so in the right time, divine timing from the, for them, spirit will guide them. And um, don't try and make it fit if it doesn't. There are lots of other amazing, fabulous readers out there for you to listen to. Um, so we're going to start with where you are right now, um, how you're perceiving life, where you sort of currently are feeling. Um, and you have the Page of Cups. Um, so um, immediately I'm seeing the lotus flowers on uh, the page, what he's wearing. And that says to me that you've gone through, or you're going through the early stages of sort of a sort of transformative period. Lotus flowers grow out of sort of murky waters. And sometimes you have to go through those murky waters to kind of blossom and grow. It's all about, you know, learning and growing and evolving uh, through experiences that we have. You, you very much um, are feeling that you want to offer somebody um, love. You're a little nervous. You, you, I, think, I think there's a lot of re regret and remorse. I think this is a soulmate that's been in your life, um, is in your life. Uh, but also that you have been with and are not now. And I think with this sort of fish out of water, that you, you, you're you you're not quite sure about how to reapproach them or talk to them. Um, do you see here with the water behind, as I've said, you've gone through a period of time that's been quite turbulent, but you're much more grounded now. Um, and the Page of Cups is, it's an apology. Uh, it's, it's, um, you're, you're, you're You've gone through a sort of soul searching time and I know that you do want to talk to your soulmate and um, but you're not quite sure about how to do it. This is a sort of very early stages. It's not the knight and it's not the king, it's the page. But the, the thoughts are there, you're you're on your manifesting that this for this to happen. How your soulmate is feeling about their life right now and where they are, they have the devil. So again, don't be worried about this card. Um the devil, I, I feel they're in a, in a relationship that is um, being given to them to help them heal from, from a lot of conditioned behaviours and past hurts. And I feel that they're very trapped in that relationship at the moment. Um, but it's, uh, they're not happy is what I'm, I'm feeling. There may be some addictions to things that, that, that concerns you and worries you. But one of the things that um, I'm being guided to tell you is you can't fix another person. Only they can fix themselves. You can't fix them. The only thing you can do is fix yourself and heal your own hurts and your own wounds. And then you come to a place of understanding and compassion for somebody else as well. Because we all only learn through our own experiences. And everything is given for us in order for our souls to evolve. So if your soulmate is in a relationship now that is not making them happy, then be grateful to the other person as well because they have been sent to help your soulmate heal, heal from past hurts and wounds. And they have to go through this, you have to go through experiences. So again, it's about you not, um, don't try and go with the flow and allow things to happen in their own divine timing because this doesn't stay like this forever. God, the universe doesn't allow it. The tower will come in. It'll just come and completely change. And so, you know, what happens is that God gives us bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger slaps around the face, as I always call it. If we're not, if we're ignoring something we're meant to learn, we'll get a bigger slap and then a bigger slap and then a bigger slap. So at the moment, your soulmate is, is in a situation that they are very much going through um, something that is Learn, trying to get their soul to evolve and to learn and grow and to let go of conditioned behaviours that have just not made them very happy. Uh, how you're feeling about your soulmate? You've got the three of cups. So I do very much first of all feel that there is somebody else around, uh, you know, because of the devil card as well. Um, but the three of cups is about reconciliation um, and it's about um, happiness and joy. I also see this card as a sort of soul family card that um, people come into our lives at the right time for us. And this is very much, I feel, how you feel about your soulmate, that there are some, they have come into your life at the right time for you. 
Um, but it's a very beautiful card, this, and it's sort of, the, the threes are always the sort of mind, body, and spirit. Um, and it's the abundance card here, here as well. So I, I feel that when you were with them, there was a lot of things that were manifesting and happening for you because you were in that high vibration. And so I feel that this is something that you want to go back to. Um, but also remember, there is always divine timing with everything. Um, and I know that they made you or make you very happy as well. Um, and sorry, thank you, uh, Spirit. It's also about patience here and about understanding that divine timing. And uh, you can manifest, when you manifest what you want to happen, do it from a place of, of not lack of, because if you say I want and I need something, then all you're putting out to the universe is that you're lacking in. So do it from a place of, I am grateful, I am happy. I am grateful I've gone through the experiences I have in order for me to be in the place I am in today. And I am grateful and I know that this will be coming in for me because I deserve it. And that's when, the universe always says yes, that's when the magic starts happening. But you have to believe in yourself and you have to love yourself because if you don't feel you deserve it, the universe won't give it for you because God is amazing and he, if, if something's not happening because you, uh, in the timing that you want it to happen, it's because you're being protected and it's not quite the right time. So this is a sort of divine timing uh, kind of card for me as well and understanding that soulmates come in for you during this journey to help you. So thank you. So do listen to what, if, if people have appeared in your life and you've formed a bond, a very special bond with them. You know, a soul family is an amazing uh, connection to have. They are your family, they're your soul family, and you can have conversations with them that you can't have with other people. And they've also been sent to help you. So listen to what people are saying around you. Feel your feelings, not your thoughts. Feel what you're feeling, feel what is coming through and resonating, the conversations you're having with them, because that's God trying to guide you at this time. Um, how your soulmates feeling about you? You've got the King of Swords, so they're very much up in their head at the moment. Um, and uh, the King of Swords, you know, is a little bit like the Queen of Swords. They've they've gone through quite a lot. They're very protected. They've put up these walls. Um, I feel this person has, you know, they've covered their heart chakra at the moment. I think there's there's been a lot of things that have happened. Um, they believe to them, but have actually happened for them in order for them to shift and change. But at the moment, they're in this space and um, they do want to, you know, he's wearing his blue. They do want to speak their truth. They do want to, but they, they can't quite get the words at the moment. Um, and there is, they are having guidance with the birds here in the background. They are having guidance. Um, and they're just a little bit sad at the moment, but they're taking stock. They're taking stock of their life. And um, I believe that you, you, the more you continue with your life, the more you focus on what makes you happy, the more you continue to grow and evolve and know that you can't fix, you, this person has to do it themselves but you continue to move forward and you hold the space for them, hold the space with love. Don't have expectations because expectations only bring disappointments. Allow it all to happen in divine timing. And remember, if it's not happening when you want it to happen, then it is just God protecting you at this time because it's not the right time. But there is feelings there and they do want to speak, but they just need to find the words. And darling, you just have to give them that time to find the words for you. Um, and advice from spirit, is the temperance card and how beautiful is this so this is archangel michael here and this whole thing is divinely guided and divinely protected this this relationship that you have um and um you can see here he has his one foot on the water and one foot on the ground so this is about being in balance um with both your emotional side and, and your sort of grounded side as well, your logical side too, is about coming into balance with yourself and your divine masculine and your divine feminine. And you see the path here leading to effectively the crown. This is your path, okay? This is your life path, this, this path you're on at the moment. And you are being guided. And this crown talks about, you know, achieving your spiritual um, abundance, your love, your, your love for yourself, for another, your happiness. 
but it's all happening in the right time and it is the patient's card. It is in divine timing and it is protected and I go back to saying if it's not happening at the moment it's because it's not meant to. There are more lessons and more things that need to be learned but it is being guided by spirit and that's very very beautiful to see. Um, and the outcome card, well this is kind of what's coming in for you, you have the soulmate. This is the Six of Cups, this is my Six of Cups reading, so you have the soulmate card. So I do believe that with patience on your part, continuing to grow and evolve and learn your own, and learning your own triggers, learning why things have happened for you the way they've happened for you and step back and observing them and understanding and being grateful for all of those lessons. This brings in this. This is what Spirit's working towards for you. And this soulmate journey that you've been on has been a gift. You see he's giving her a gift. So whatever you have been given from this journey, from this, this relationship, every relationship we have is for our souls to evolve. So whatever you've been given has allowed you to evolve. And Spirit is saying, well done, darling. But this is coming in for you as well. So there will be, I believe, in divine timing, and we don't know with timing with the universe, but there will be a return. Um, and I'm very happy to see that in that card. Um, and the daisies as well, they represent here um, happiness and joy and peace and, and also that spiritual growth. So Scorpio, thank you for listening. I hope that resonated with you. Um, if you have any comments, I'd love to see them uh, below. Um, and uh, be so grateful if you would like, share and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next week, my darlings. Take care.